Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part 7 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Evernote. Now in this segment, I just want to talk briefly about the mobile options you have with Evernote. Because that's one of the things that makes it so cool and so handy, is that not only can you have it on your desktop, not only can you access it from your web browser, but you can also access it from your mobile devices. So, I'm in my Evernote account here. Click on Support because I want you to be able to find these things as well. If you look over here, they have need help with these things. We don't really need help, but we're going to click on Evernote for the mobile web. And you see here, on your BlackBerry or other mobile device that has internet access, you can go to this special URL, which I've included in the show notes, and it gives you a mobile device friendly web page of Evernote so you can access your notes, view them, email them, change settings, and so on. I use this on my Blackberry all the time and I just have it in my bookmarks. Now there's also a special version of Evernote for Windows Mobile and you can use this to create new notes, upload notes to Evernote, or search all of your existing notes online. That's very handy too. There's also a version for the iPhone. And here in the Apple Apps Store, you can download a version of Evernote right to your iPhone and be able to work with all of your notes right from there. So, Evernote provides you with an array of options when it comes to mobile devices. It supports iPhone, it supports BlackBerry and other mobile devices that are connected to the internet, and it supports your devices on the web by providing you a special URL. And that concludes part seven.